Fires in Maui have taken the lives of nearly 100 people and the livelihoods of countless others. Local officials estimate tourism accounts for roughly 80 percent of the island's economy. In the first half of this year, 1.5 million people visited Maui, spending some $3.47 billion. For more on the financial impact of the wildfires, James Tokioka joins us now. He is director of the Hawaii Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism. Hey, James, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, you know, obviously, this is so hard to almost take in the, the, the degree of widespread devastation. What, and I'm sure there's not just one, but among the biggest priorities right now for rebuilding, is it even possible to put your finger on a couple of those? Um, we're, our task right now is to get people out of shelters into hotels. And first of all, thank you for your coverage on this because a lot of folks uh, are trying to get information you know, because of the lack of power and the lack of cell service in the area, they're not getting the information. So, you know, the Governor Green wants to make sure that as many people get the message as possible. So we thank you, uh, CBS, for making this happen, uh, whether they get it uh, at somebody else's house that they're staying at. We want to make sure that they know that uh, hope is, is what we're trying to give them. And, you know, some of the programs that we're working on now with the fire relief housing program initiated by Governor Green is the first stage is getting people out of the shelters. As you saw in some of the pictures there, there are hundreds, if not a thousand, a thousands of people in shelters. We want to get them out of the shelters as soon as possible. Uh, Red Cross has arrived, but, you know, it, it's taken them a while to get here, but they're here. They're here in force, but we, Governor Green wanted to move as quickly as possible. So we have boots on the ground now, and we're going to turn it over to them tomorrow. We'll probably, at the end of today, move out uh, 200 people from shelters into hotels. You know, that's the first step. We'll turn that over as of tomorrow to uh, the Red Cross. The next phase that we have is giving these people more normalcy, uh, we have vacation rentals on the west side of Maui that won't be able to be rented uh, to visitors. So we're going to have long-term programs uh, that the FEMA will be working with. And when I say long-term, we're talking about 30 to 45 days, and they have to reassess. But uh, one of the FEMA administrators, uh, high level, is Bob Fenton. He's been here. He's been absolutely amazing. Uh, he's, he's a godsend. Um, American Red Cross and their leadership. So that's what we're doing right now to get people out into homes. So n nothing, of course, more important than the nailing down the, the housing situation. And uh, that, that makes all the sense in the world. I'm wondering, though, uh, there's the physical devastation, the emotional devastation. People are wondering how they're going to pay their bills. Business owners wondering how they're going to pay the bills. Uh, are there job opportunities that are going to be available? It almost feels too immediate to ask about this, but I'm sure people are starting to wonder when it comes to paying bills, what are people going to do for jobs? Yes. So, you know, with there's going to be a lot of jobs in the disaster recovery sector. So, you know, that's going to be on the private sector, just cleaning up things after uh, FEMA and uh, the, the, the local county and state agencies go through the, uh, the cleanup of the areas. But also, we don't want, because of the toxic fumes, and I know you've, you've heard it before, but because of the toxic fumes, we don't want any type of uh, people going in there now where, you know, they may get exposed to these fumes and get sick. We don't need any of that. So when that simmers down, there's going to be jobs for cleanups. There's going to be jobs for construction. You know, the estimation is it's going to be at least 10 years, at least 10 years of jobs in that area. You can see the devastation. You can see the people that don't have homes. And, you know, our hearts and prayers go out to all of the families that have been affected. And not only the people who lost their house, which is absolutely tragic, but the families and the, the workers that are in the areas that can't get to work because uh, the hotels didn't have electricity. So, um, it, you know, we're, we're putting together an uh, economic recovery team uh, with people from Maui and people from the state to figure out the path forward. It's going to take a while to come up with these plans, but uh, I was in Kauai when Iniki hit, so a lot of the people that I worked with at that time have, are, are very well versed in giving us directions on how to recover 
uh, not only emotionally and physically, but economically. And that's going to be the next responsibility going into after we get people into shelters. We wanted to focus on that first. Governor sure. Green was very, very clear about sure. that. But he also had a vision to say, we got to think about what's next as far as the economy. So we're working extremely hard on that. James Tokioka, I can't imagine uh, how busy you are. Uh, I know time is a precious commodity. We thank you for spending some of your time with us. Thank you very much. And, you know, if you can just share one thing with the viewers out there, that some people may be coming to Maui and vacationing in Maui. You know, we hope that if, if they do decide, you know, we're hoping that they can go to Kona or Kauai or somewhere else. But if they do decide to come to Maui, ask them to be respectful of the families and the grief that they're going through. Because some people are um, making it feel like a, uh, you know, a, a, a tourist a attraction. Tourist, right? And it's right. not. People not. People, people's lives have been lost. So I, I would just ask you to share that. So thank you very much for that opportunity. You've made that point very clearly. Thank you again for your time. Thank you.